Welcome to this video on Downing College student life. My name is Katriona and I'm the School Liaison Officer for Downing College and I've got three current students here with me today. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, uh, I'm Faye and I'm a second year geography student uh, from Glasgow. Hi, I'm Abdi. I'm a first year human social and political sciences student from London. Hi, I'm Polina. I come from Russia and I've just finished my first year studying engineering and next year I'll be studying chemical engineering. Great. So I'm going to be asking um, the students questions on um, living in Cambridge, studying in Cambridge, um, social um, aspects of being in Cambridge and the college um, culture and traditions as well. Um, so my first question for you all is, um, what is your favourite part about being a student at Cambridge? Uh, I would say that my favourite part about being at Cambridge is being part of a community of really interesting people, uh, both students and staff, and I think that's really helped me become a better student and also a better person. I think my favourite thing is definitely how much the university has to offer outside of academics. So there's like hundreds of clubs and societies that you can get involved in. So there's definitely going to be something for everyone. Um, and I think these clubs and societies honestly give you some of the best experiences that you have as a student. Um, personally, I've taken part in theatre, student campaigning and culture societies, and they've been really fun experiences. For me, the best thing is the opportunity to meet so many unique and interesting people from a range of different backgrounds, but also the rich history, the beautiful surroundings, and the academically stimulating environment. So none of you are um, originally from Cambridge, so you've all had to move away from home um, for the first time. Um, how was moving um, away? So with regards to actually moving place, I was really worried. I come from quite a big city, and I was really worried about coming to a small place like Cambridge. But actually, there's everything that you need is in Cambridge and it's all really convenient and accessible uh, and it's so beautiful as well. Uh, on a personal level, I was a bit worried about coming to university and not knowing anyone, uh, but actually everyone's in the same boat and you settle into college really, really quickly during freshers week and during your first term. So it wasn't really something that I needed to be worried about at all. Yeah, quite similar to Faith. Um, I was quite nervous because I didn't know what to expect. But I think the college system meant that settling in was a very smooth process. Um, as Freshers' Week is based within college and is built and like focused on like trying to build a community within college. So that meant that like throughout the week, um, Downing became more like a second home to me. So. For me, moving to a new country and adapting to a completely different environment was a big challenge and was one of the things I was most worried about before coming to university. But fortunately, I was able to settle in quite quickly. Great. Um, so Faith, you've been in college accommodation now uh, for two years. Um, can you tell us what the accommodation is like at Downing? Uh, so I personally think that the accommodation one is one of the best things about Downing. So in first year, all of the first years live together, which gives you a really great opportunity to meet people from outside of your subject and to help settle in, like we've all just been mentioning. I also think that all of the accommodation throughout your three years is really, really high quality. So you don't need to worry about being stuck with a room that's not as nice. But also this comes with a huge variety of price brackets. So whatever your budget, you'll be able to find something that works for you. Another really great thing about dining accommodation is it's all on site. So you're so um, close to all of the facilities like the canteen and the library, which just makes your life so much easier. So for example, I currently live in a house um, in the dining grounds with my friends, which I really love. Uh, my personal favourite thing about the Downing accommodation is the kitchens, which are really, really well equipped, which is quite a rarity in Cambridge, um, which I think is one of my favourite things to do is baking. So that's been a real advantage for me. Great. Um, so Abdi, Faith has mentioned um, some of the facilities um, in college already. Um, can you talk a little bit about um, some of the other facilities available at Downing? Yes, so there's lots of great facilities for both your social and academic needs at Downing. Um, so for example, like if you just want to chill with your friends, the college bar or the JCR is a really nice space to do that. Um, there's also the gym and the paddock for like exercising or doing sports. Um, and in terms of like academic needs, the college library is a great place for independent study. Um, it has lots of the lots of resources that you'll need throughout like your three years and it's open 24 hours a day. Yeah, so independent study is obviously um, a big part of learning at Cambridge. Um, another part is um, supervisions. Uh, Polina, could you explain what supervisions are for those who are unsure? Yes, so uh, supervision is 
a small group session with an academic who is a specialist in the particular subject area that you've been covering in lectures. They're usually around one hour long with one to three students for supervision, and they're designed to help strengthen your understanding of the course by exploring a particular subject area more deeply. So far, I found them extremely helpful as they provide me with an opportunity to ask questions and consolidate the material taught in lectures. The feedback from my supervisors has also been extremely useful for me to see my progress and establish areas to focus on in my revision. It's great to hear how much um, academic support you get in college. Um, there's obviously lots of other things um, you can do with um, your time. And other uh, so could you tell us about um, activities and sort of societies that you've all been involved with? Uh, well, I currently play for one of the university hockey teams in my spare time. Um, hockey was something that I did a lot at school and I really enjoyed it and was very keen to continue at a high level at university and I'm really glad that I have had the opportunity to do that. I think it gives me firstly a great outlet and distraction from my work and means that I can take a break and go and be active and also it's been a really amazing social opportunity to meet loads of different people from different colleges and different subjects which has really been an invaluable part of my time at Cambridge. Um, for me, I'm part of a culture society, the Afro-Caribbean Society, as well as FUSE, which is a society for LGBTQ plus people of colour. And like um, Faith said, like these societies provide you an opportunity to build a community with people who share similar backgrounds, who have similar experiences. And it's a great way to meet other people um, outside of college and outside of your course. Um, and in terms of other activities that I've taken part in, um, I also done theatre um, and it was my first time ever like taking part in any kind of production. So that was quite fun. So the very first society I joined was the Russian Society, mainly because I was curious to see what the Russian community in Cambridge was like. And I was eager to meet other Russian speakers and get to know them. By attending events organized by the society, I was also able to enjoy some aspects of my own culture that I missed from home. In my first term, I also had the opportunity to try something new, which was rowing. Rowing is something that is quite popular in Cambridge, and since Downing has its own boathouse with really nice facilities, such as an indoor rowing tank, I was really tempted to try it out. Great, so it sounds like you're really busy um, with your studies um, and with societies, um, but what sort of um, opportunities are there um, in college um, to spend with your free time? So there are a lot of social events that take place at the college bar, such as jazz band nights and the weekly pub quiz. There are also several college-based societies, such as the Downing Dramatic Society and the Music Society, as well as plenty of opportunities to get involved in sport. Another way to spend your evening with your friends is by going to a formal, but these are by no means compulsory. Formals are typically a three-course dinner, which is served by candlelight and happen on select days of the week. There's usually a dress code and you are expected to wear a gown. The charge is around 10 pounds and goes directly to your college bill. Formals are quite unique to Cambridge and can be a really nice way to celebrate your birthday or a special occasion with your friends. A lot of people also attend these with their families when they come to visit. Yeah, formals are a really um, nice tradition in Cambridge and at Downing. Um, there are other traditions um, as well, uh, such as college marriage. Um, Faith, could you explain what college marriage is? Yeah, so college marriage is part of the college family system that we have at Downing and it's an informal support network for new students. So basically when you start at Downing, you're assigned college parents and a college sibling. So two people in the year above you, one of whom usually does your subject, will be your parents and another person in the year will be your sibling. Um, so this is a really, really great opportunity to get to know people uh, and your parents can give you support. So you spend a day together in Freshers Week, which just helps you get to know new people and it means you have friendly faces around college but also you can ask your parents um, questions that you wouldn't necessarily ask someone in your formal support system so it's a really really great resource uh, and then at the end of your first year you get married to another person in college at a big formal dinner and you then become college parents when you start your second year and Abdi is actually my college son uh, and I just think it's a really lovely tradition which is really really fun but also provides great support and builds bonds between people in college. Great, yeah, it sounds so fun. Uh, so Abdi, um, Faith's mentioned that you're um, her college son. Um, how was that for you having that system in place um, when you started in your first year? 
Yeah, so the college family system is honestly really, really useful. Um, so they're sorted out over the summer. So even before you arrive at Cambridge, you know at least three other people. Um, and they've been really useful because just like they said, um, college families are like an informal support network where you're able to like ask those little questions that do like get you worried, um, but you wouldn't necessarily think to ask like your tutor or something like um, what to wear at matriculation dinner, like what freshers week is like, or like how, like how quickly you're expected to do university work. So it's just like a really great system to ask um, about like what to expect from college. Um, and just like they said, we were also able to spend a day um, together as a family to go punting, have dinner together. And it was just a really great opportunity to start to feel settled in college. Yeah, it sounds like you all really love um, being at Cambridge and being at Downing. Um, did you have any concerns though um, before you arrived? Uh, well, I would say one of my concerns was that I was worried that within my subject it was going to be really competitive with other people in my year uh, and that people would, wouldn't be working together or I wouldn't have anyone to talk to if I was worried about work. But actually this could not have been further from the truth. I am really, really close friends with most people that do my subject and everyone is so supportive and always willing to help whether you have a question about an essay or a piece of coursework. And it's been really amazing the support that I've got from the people that do my subject. So for me as an international student, being far away from my family was a big concern, but I found that homesickness is something that a lot of people experienced irrespective of where they come from and that it was quite common to miss your family at first. Knowing that I was not alone was a really big relief and the strong sense of community and the support network at Downing made me feel much more at home. So what would you say um, to someone who might be um, still unsure about applying? Uh, so I would say just believe in yourself and if applying to Cambridge is something that you want to do then just go for it uh, and if people try and talk you out of it and you believe that it's right for you then don't listen to them because uh, I had a career advisor that came to my school and I told her I wanted to apply to Cambridge and she suggested that I apply elsewhere um, and if I'd done that then I wouldn't be here talking to you guys now um, so please just believe in yourself and give it a shot you never know what might happen. Um, one advice that I would, uh, one piece of advice that I would give is a lot of the times people feel that they can't apply to Cambridge because it's not right for someone like them. Um, but I would just say that there isn't really one type of Cambridge student. Um, like the, in the year that I've been here, like you've like encountered so many different people from so many different backgrounds that like this misconception that I had about there being like a right type of Cambridge student that I had even up until I was moving in wasn't right and so I'll just like reassure you um that you will be able to find a space here at Cambridge so yeah just apply. Yeah I would also say just go for it because you never know if you don't try and when it comes to making decisions trust your gut and worry less about things out of your control. Brilliant. Uh, thank you so much um, for joining me and um, thank you Faith, uh, Paulina and Abdi um, for answering all my questions um, and good luck um, to you at home um, with your application.